Okay. <laughs> Hi, Aries. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Sag Moon Diva. For those of you all that are new, for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all the likes, the comments, the shares, as well as the donations and keeping your girl booked and busy with the personal readings. If you guys are interested in one, all that information is down below in the description box, as well as pinned in the comments. And if you guys are interested in uh, tarot readings that I do for celebrities, check out my second channel, Celebrity Tarot Readings. All right, so I am so excited to get into this. This is going to be your next sexual encounter, okay? Want to see who's coming towards you for the month of February. Who is trying to get some chocolates, okay? Some chocolates for Valentine's Day. <laughs> who's trying to get something from the sign of Aries, okay? All right, let's see what comes through. Hmm. Your next sexual encounter for some of you all could be a Taurus, a Virgo, could be a Capricorn because you do have the eight of pentacles. OK, so this is somebody that is hard at work. OK, this could be somebody that's hard at work. Uh, that is um, maybe learning about you. This could be somebody that is determined to spend some time with you, determined to spend a little money on you, okay? Because we do have that Eight of Pentacles. This is all about that money, 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 money. <laughs> because this person sees you as their queen of cups, okay? Somebody that they feel is very uh, loving, somebody that they feel is also very gentle, and somebody they feel that brings them some sort of happiness. Whoever this person is, Aries, they want to spoil you. It looks like this person is looking for more, okay? Looks like this person is looking for some type of relationship, some type of commitment, or this person just... I feel an energy of wanting to wine and dine you, like even before they get into the bedroom, and you have, <laughs> yes, you have the navel chalices. This is somebody that has, um, wants to send you some type of message. This may be somebody that may be a little shy. They may want to send you a message, let you know that they're interested in you. They're wanting to take you out. They're wanting to get to know you more because with this navel cups, look at how this person is here going, ah, oh, I'm just trying to figure out the right words to say. Okay. So this person could be sending you a text message, a DM. This could be somebody that's wanting to call, but whomever this is, I do feel they may be a little emotionally immature, you know, not knowing how to approach you, but I do feel some connection is going to come. Now, this may be somebody in your past, okay, with this uh, Knight of Pentacles. This may have been somebody in your past that um, maybe wasn't ready to commit, not necessarily sure if they were looking for a relationship or they may have kept it at a standstill at one point, okay? So I feel like for you, because this person may have taken a long time to maybe offer you something, you decided, eh, you know what, that's okay. I'll just uh, see what other options are out there for me. But whomever this person is, they're really wanting to pursue you now. It's something about you that they are not willing to let go of. Yeah, this person feels like they lost a sense of stability, not being able to, um, be in your presence. Okay, Aries, what have you done to this person? What have you done to this person with this ace of pentacles? Okay, because things for this person doesn't seem, uh, they don't feel, they don't feel fulfilled. It doesn't necessarily feel the same. Okay. And then you have the knight of pentacles. I'm sorry, not knight of pentacles. I'm sorry. You have the five of pentacles there in the reverse. So, uh, this is somebody that is trying to revive something. Okay. They're trying to have the courage to be able to say, you know what? I know in the past I may have fumbled the bag, but this time around, I'm really hoping for another chance with you. Oh, with that magician card there in the reverse. Some of you all could be dealing with a Gemini. And this could be somebody that lacks self-confidence. I'm feeling a strong sense of this person not having a lot of self-confidence. And maybe uh, for some of you all, if, you, if this is a masculine energy, you all may be the type where you prefer like the man to just kind of step up and be strong. But this may be somebody that needs a little bit of a push. They may have tried to pursue you at one point, but they were like, that's okay. It's not going to work. This person is not going to notice me. Oh, Aries. They like you. They like you a lot. Because I don't know. I'm not getting a lot of energy of this person having been with you before. This looks like somebody that wants to do it, but they feel like if they try to pursue you, they don't want to get shot down. They don't want to be embarrassed. 
Yeah, see that six of cups there? Yeah, this is somebody that could be an acquaintance, somebody that you may even be surprised that this person likes you in that way. Or I'm telling you, I'm going to be honest. Some of you all, <laughs> some of you Aries, okay, you got your queen of wands and your king of wands energy. Everybody loves you out here looking good, feeling good, feeling all confident. And you didn't just shot this damn person down or you friend zone them. I feel like, I feel like somebody got friend zone. But whoever this is, even if they got friends on, they have good memories of you. This is somebody that sees you in a good light, okay? You bring them some type of happiness. If this is a work situation, this is where somebody may work with you and have a crush on you. Let me tell you, let me tell you, this person, for some of you all, if this acquaintance is a co-worker, they get lit the freak up when you come to work. Let me tell you, if you miss a day and they put on their favorite outfit where they want to impress you with it and then you don't come to work, this person like, God damn it, oh, I was hoping they'd come to work today because some of you all can dress your tails off. Somebody dresses to the nines when they go to work. Like when I tell you. I'm seeing somebody coming into the office, okay? Everybody's in there, they're laughing, they're having a good time. And then comes the Aries, okay? Walking in. For some of y'all, y'all got, um, <laughs> they say, they call it um, childbearing hips. Somebody is voluptuous, okay? This is not for everybody. Somebody is voluptuous. And when you come to work, all right, in your pinstripe or whatever kind of suit you got coming on, you know, whatever type of suit you're wearing, somebody wears form-fitting clothes. Somebody is deep within their femininity, okay? And this could also be masculine energy as well, all right? For some of you males, you come in to work, you smell good, you look good. Oh, I just got met the man in my head. And y'all, let me tell you, I love me some met the man, Jesus, okay? <laughs> Whew, just think of met the man. When I tell you, when this man walks, like when you see him on television, he commands the the room. When he does interviews, he commands the interview. Like he is just a man, okay? He is everything that you would think that a ma that masculine is, is met the man. Oh, oh, it's just something about him. Now I want you to think of when it comes to femininity, I would say... I'm trying to think of somebody that I that I'm getting a feel of when it comes to an Aries. Um, oh my God, I, I can't think of like a specific like actress or anything. But what I keep seeing in my head is a shapely female that is the shit basically like everybody when they see her their heads turn um you may get a couple of chicks that side eye her because she just got it okay she just got it and this is the energy that i'm getting so your person likes you but your person may feel like they don't have a shot in hell at getting you <laughs> But they've been thinking about it, okay? <laughs> this person has thought about it a time or two. You see how she's sitting there looking at that picture? Oh, that could be us one day. That's how this person thinks. <laughs> yeah, and then you, oh, I'm telling you, listen, this person had, they, baby, they building up their courage because they're like, you know what? I have to take my shot now because if I don't take my shot, I already know there's going to be other dudes or there's going to be lined up. And so I just got to get out of my head and I got to approach you. That's what that eight of wands energy is about. So even if they haven't made that move yet, this person is definitely saying, you know, I, I want this person. I got to figure out a way to get them. I got to, um, I got to get the courage. Basically, I got to get this thought out of my head that I'm not good enough. Okay. You have the, oh, is that the tenant? Okay. You have that ten of cups there in the reverse. And this person, for some of you all, uh, they do. I keep feeling the energy that somebody wasted their time. That's that ten of cups. Either they wasted their time in the past or they feel like it's going to be a waste of time if they approach you. So, um, I don't know, whoever this is, they need to get some confidence, okay? Because don't be coming towards me and you <laughs> and you acting like you're scared. Don't be scared of it. <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, oh, at the bottom of the deck, you got the king of wands, okay? So, mm, okay. All right, so with this king of wands here, for some of you all, this could end up being like a perfect, like, 
couple here, okay? You got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, and like I said, in the same reading. So for some of you, you this could be a fellow Aries, this could be a Leo, or this could be a Sagittarius, because we know not every sign... Not everybody is exactly like the stereotype of their sign. This could be a very shy fire sign, okay? Somebody that's looking for you to make the move, all right? <laughs> so let me go ahead and take a look here. I'm not getting a lot of sexual energy so far from this person. It's like mostly, I'm going to be honest, it's like this person wants to take care of you or this person wants to comfort you getting a real strong sense of this person being an earth sign and whoever this person is they like to cuddle this is somebody that likes to take their time they are not rushing when it comes to sex they are not rushing when it comes to a relationship they like to build it up the old-fashioned way so if that is what you're into i'm just letting you know that's what's coming for some of you all in the month of february let's see what we got you told me you was ready all right, for some of you all, you're definitely dealing with somebody that may have pulled back. They may have had a fear that you all may have felt like they were coming on too strong, that this person could have been needy. But I'm telling you, whoever this person is, they are a cuddler. This is somebody that likes to cuddle. I just got a Leo in my head. <laughs> for some of you all, this person likes to cuddle. This person um, may have, like I said before, I keep feeling like... This is somebody that's beating themselves up. Oh, I, I, I came on too strong or I didn't come on strong enough or I was too this, I was too that. Some of you all could be dealing with somebody in their early 40s. You could be someone in your early 40s. Oh, you have broken vows. Okay, now wait a minute. Now... For some of you all, this may have been somebody that you are married to, somebody where uh, the situation may have fallen apart, a relationship could be broken, and this person could be trying to salvage it, because we do have that Ten of Cups in the reverse, and like I mentioned before, uh, you have waste, okay? The Ten of Cups can be about waste. It can also be about a, like fighting, and it could be about a broken relationship, so for some of you all, this could be a broken um, a marriage where this person is trying to win you back. Or this person here may be trying to get out of a situation first, and this is why this person didn't pursue you. You have brown sugar. Okay, you or your person smoke some of that weed, okay? <laughs> somebody, somebody like that brown sugar, baby. Oh, that's what just came. Wait a minute. Brown sugar, babe, I get high off your love, I don't know how to behave. Let me tell you, for some of y'all, y'all done gave this person song before. <laughs> y'all done gave this person song before and this person is hooked. Let me tell you, this may have been a one night stand or you may have had sex with this person and you you weren't really looking for anything serious because you may have um, gotten out of a broken marriage or a broken relationship or some of you all may have done this at a time when you were feeling broken and you just really weren't ready to pursue somebody. So you may have had sex with this person and then you cut them off. I'm telling you, some of you all may have ghosted this person. And baby, they have not forgotten your brown sugar. Okay? For some of you all, this is this is not weed. Okay? This is what you got down there that has messed this person up. Some of y'all gave this person that brown sugar. Before I even pull these cards, I got to go over here to my little sexual deck. Okay? And see what's going on over here. Okay. <laughs> what did the Aries do? Oh, you all, I'm telling you, you got, I got us a room. Some of you all have been to a hotel room with this person. Some of you all will be going to a hotel room with this person. Give me more messages, please. Give me more messages. Why is brown sugar coming through? Bottom of the deck. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all definitely, y'all definitely dealing with somebody that smoke weed or y'all smoke weed. It says, blowing my high, I want to reply. I'm t what did I tell you? Aries, did some of y'all get this person some of that good, good and then dipped? I'm telling you, got their head, got their bread and then dipped. <laughs> This is why I love doing fire sign readings. Some of you all have dipped. Let me tell you, do not play around with these water signs, okay? Because when you have sex, allegedly, when you have sex, allegedly. All right, listen. 
don't go fooling around and playing around. Some of y'all done played around with a, uh, <laughs> somebody done fooled around with a water sign. Y'all think it's over, but this person has literally committed to you whether you know it or not. <laughs> Some of y'all done fooled around with a crazy Scorpio Cancer or a Pisces and they like, oh hell no, you're not gonna give me that brown sugar and then you talking about it's over. Shit, we a couple now. <laughs> you have, I got us a room. <laughs> I told you, some of you all are dealing with a fellow Leo. I said this, I'm sorry, I said Leo in the beginning of the reading that some of you um, Aries are dealing with a fellow fire sign. Could be a shy Leo. You have a fateful woman. <laughs> you have one trick pony. Mm -mm. For some of you all, this sexual encounter has happened on a Sunday. For some of you all, it will happen in a future Sunday. Oh. Some of y'all need to watch the company that you keep. You have a fake male friend. But let me tell you what this also indicates. Didn't I mention in the beginning of the reading that some of you all are dealing with an acquaintance? Or that could be an acquaintance, somebody that you don't even really think about like that. Or you may not have even noticed like that. This person is pretending to be your friend. But for some of you all, this person is head over freaking heels for you. I'm telling you, they're like, please me, baby. Please. 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 Mm, you got deep inside of you. <laughs> Double stuffed, baby. Listen, some of y'all need to make, y'all need to open y'all eyes around that job or around your neighborhood. Because, baby, that's somebody that want that and they want it good. Ooh, okay. This is what we doing? <laughs> I'm going to let y'all read that one. <laughs> and it says, uh, ooh. I'm trying to back up all of that mouth. Let me tell you something, baby. Aries, if y'all hadn't already, this person going to take y'all down and through there, okay? When I tell you, baby, some of y'all need to open your eyes and look and see because there is somebody around y'all that want to give it to you good. You just ain't noticed it. I'm telling you, for some of you all, this could be a like a May-December type of romance. Uh, it could be dealing with somebody in their early 20s. You could be somebody in your early 20s, but whatever the case may be, this person wants to show you something new. You or your person could have the initial O. Did not... <laughs> You can't make this stuff up. Didn't I tell y'all? Some of y'all done went around here and messed with somebody with some water energy. Okay? Y'all done messed around. Y'all done gave this person that brown sugar. Y'all done backed up all that mouth. <laughs> and now this person is hooked. Baby, this person is hooked. I'm telling you, this person wants to break the ice. If you have not communicated with this person yet, this person is coming towards you. For some of you all, this could lead to marriage. For some of you all, marriage is the reason, like I mentioned with that broken vow, marriage is the reason why some of you all have not connected with each other or... Uh, there, there's something going on here where some of you all may have a broken marriage and they want to salvage this relationship. Baby, money, money, money for somebody. There's definitely some money that's going to be coming in. This person could be financially stable. And then you have the initial H. So you... <laughs> ah, ah, you got to be kidding me. Man, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Which one of y'all like him being a... HL. <laughs> Baby, these cars are so messy today. Last message. I bet she can't do it like me. I'm telling you, for some of you all, this person may want to pursue you, but you may be involved with somebody else. So all they can do is just imagine and fantasize from afar. But I'm definitely telling you, there is somebody that is wanting to break the ice with you. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I have to go ahead and close this reading off early because... Um, I have a couple of things that I have to do. Oh, I hate that I have to cut this reading off. But if you guys want a part two to this, um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, share, share, share this video. And I will see you guys in my next sexual encounter. <laughs> Bye, Aries.